Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in West Hill, just outside of West Hill actually, working on the pumpkin farm on the Citadel server as we have been the last couple of streams. Happy Sunday. Hope you're all are ready for Monday. I'm not. <laughs> so we're gonna play video games instead. I'll have to do adulting and cooking later. Right now, zombies must die. Give me free potatoes. And we have to figure out how the heck we're going to make this ugly little house look not ugly. I know they're supposed to be rustic, but this is giving um, pumpkin barf. Not a fan. I'm not going to tear it down to nothing. Um, I like the idea, but we definitely need to uh, sort out the issues that we have. Uh, so, I think first things first, I want to double check the footprint and just see what I can do about that and go from there. Obu, tier one subscription, 29 months. Thanks ever so much. That was from probably in the middle of the, uh, the countdown to starting soon screen. Very much appreciated. Cosmic Dancer, Grandpa Crafter, Blast Jordan, good to see you all. Sweet Sandy, hope you're having a good day. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's the first little footprint, right? One, two, three, four, five, right. And then in here, it's supposed to be offset. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. But that's six and that's seven. Don't know how I feel about the deep window. Yo diggity. <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen your username before. I must have missed it last time. Um, that's your second month with Prime, but thank you. <laughs> Maybe I didn't pronounce it right last time. I think I just got the joke. Thanks for the support. Janoy, hello, hello. Rocking that stone keystone badge. First time. First month. Cosmic, no doubt. No doubt. Um... Okay, so that actually pops out that way. So technically, one, two, three, four. Why is that in here? Right, because this is this extends. That's part of that. What I should do, first I'll turn off shaders is I need to get some more dye, right? I need to not make myself sick. Sometimes after I take screenshots, I forget to put the camera view back to normal. All right, so that is not... Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But that's not technically the wall. So if I wanted this to be the right shape, I would push that in. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's not a five by five, it's a five by seven. Seven being this distance here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've got the roof in the right spot. So at this point, if everything moved one block in, it would be one, two, three, four. No, starting from here. One. 
Is that on the right side? Those don't line up with this. Oh no, that's right. I've got... So starting there, it should be seven, including including this one, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's correct. Okay. So then here, what I want to do is have the whole thing shift by one. So then... This becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is technically the outside wall. So what we need here is to have that go there. And that becomes one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's seven there. And then this has already been shifted. Yep, one, two, three, and then the middle, and then one, two, but three is on the corner. So here I could put this there just to have it match the front. or I could remove this, that's the wall. Two, three, four, five. This is where Minecraft's meter thick walls become a real pain in the butt. That's right. It'll create some character. I just need to figure out how to make it look good from the outside. Weather warnings coming out of south for southwestern Ohio. Really? So like tornado warnings? I guess it's getting to that time of year. Oh, I think people have been championing the idea of of uh, slab walls for a long time. Long, long time. Right, so that changes how this is going to flow. This then becomes probably slabs here. And we can cover up this no problem because we can just turn this sideways. <clears throat> So, right, I wasn't a fan of this. I remember this from yesterday. I think maybe we keep it a little tighter. And... Here, I 
That way we can just do this. We can remove this. This might change material as well, so that, that'll help us out in the long run. Tarsiris, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. All right, so this is still not good. Uh, we have to get rid of that. We'll have to come up with a different situation there. And then how do we handle this? I guess the same way we do the other stuff. I think some trap doors are going to have to be here. And then on that side, I'd imagine there would be a window. And I'm going to put the window whatever the middle is. It's that or there. That probably makes more sense than putting a window directly over the bed. And this won't be here. That'll be a proper chair model. So that should work. And then that gives us a chance to do something like a flower garden or something there. Maybe some bushes on the corner. We can tighten up this path too. Okay, I think, I think that sorts it mostly. Uh, we'll need to do a lot of texture stuff. But I think that changes enough uh the front is definitely looking better and more interesting depends on what we do for the trim and then as far as the inside goes i think we'll do that probably makes sense maybe we'll put maybe a wash base in there here or something that could be interesting and then That should give us enough room. This is probably not going to be here. We'll probably end up putting chairs. Like in that kind of situation. This still feels really open. So I want to try and do something here. Oh, that was a stair. That uh, will make use of, of some space here. I feel like we need some sort of shelf up there. Certainly here. It's not going to have a lot of room inside, that's for sure. But I feel like we need something kind of like in this area, and I don't know what that could be. This is just going to be in the way. So whatever it is, it's probably going to have to be something up against that. like maybe some sort of shelving there. I don't want to create a tunnel going out the back door. Could also put it here instead. Might make a little bit more sense. Actually, I like the width that, that gives that room. I mean, honestly, this could just be an arbitrary wall to kind of make it look more interesting inside, even though it doesn't really serve any purpose. I could probably put some firewood there. That might work. Okay. So first things first, let's decide on some of the main palette pieces. I 
The mighty Elkhorn is here. Hello, hello. It's quite the wallpaper of choice. So it's not... Um, actually, I guess I should bring up the image. Maybe I should just download that and put it up on my... On my um, heads-up display for folks. Uh, let's go to Medieval Fantasy... Houses. Grab that. So this is from a user Evolution213. I'm assuming it's their own creation. Let me just put this up so people can see what's what's going on. So if I use this, that's the old one. So that's the reference image just for inspiration. Uh, it is a cozy cottage, but we're making a pumpkin farmhouse. Oh, look, the username is right on the, right on the, the image, Evolution213. It's just something I found on Pinterest. Uh, Evolution213, I believe, is their Instagram profile. So what I liked about it was the palette. I like the combo of jungle wood and uh, granite and then diorite and clay. I was like, man, we could maybe do better. So we're going to try and come up with something a little bit nicer. We don't have a lot for white blocks. We've been through this before. There's just not a lot outside of quartz. And quartz, I think, is just going to, for me, it's just going to look too fancy. I do want to consider wool, though. Because we did this. This is the other thing I don't want to copy. I don't want to copy what's happening over there. And that's calcite and concrete powder. So I want to keep some of the diorite. Um, I'm going to have some sort of flowers, but I'm not sure what. We don't have a lot. I kind of want something that will complement the pumpkins. Uh, I also know that I want some spruce trapdoors. And I think in that image there was spruce fencing, which looked really good. So in sections like here, we have the opportunity to just add a little bit. And then we can also try to see what other blocks might look good. See, the thing is, unfortunately, with the diorite is that the diorite is kind of dirty and everything else looks really, really white. Hmm. I feel like as much as I want to, that's not going to work very well. So 
So thinking we maybe try to keep the diorite close to the bottom. I even think maybe the concrete powder is too much. Maybe we just need to stick to the three, three blocks. We could also um, jump in with some polished diorite, which might help make it look a little bit more structured. It's getting there. Torch flowers, I think you're right, Cosmic. The, the, the blossom would work. However, the, um, the stem on a torch flower is like turquoise. It's not green. Uh, we also have a custom texture pack that turns pumpkin vines and melon vines different colors. So these are possibly not going to grow in the right direction. So I'll have to be careful here. We're probably gonna have to grow these one at a time in order to get this to work right. So I'll just kind of see how that goes. I think that's pretty good. We might come back with stairs for some of these. We'll have to see. But that that's a decent initial uh push plus we can do stuff like this to help balance out the top a little bit. And we'll probably use regular trap doors for the windows as we often do. Could potentially even have shutters on this one. Might be a little bit much, we'll see. Don't want to get carried away with the detail, I just want to plan. This might be a good way to go around the hearth too. Because that could be a stair if we need it to. Hmm, that actually might be better off as actual stone bricks. So proper, proper bricks. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Bricks and andesite maybe would be good. I do like a good andesite. Um, andesite hearth. Where's the andesite? 
And the inventory's full. Surprise. New trend of using glass panes to help add shading. Where would you put glass panes to add shading? Helps if I know what you're talking about. Roof, wall, I'm not entirely sure. Mm, I guess I can just start like this. That's probably the decent place to start. Just slowly start to work in some new textures. See what sticks. That takes a lot of the diorite out, which is good. That, however, might need some sort of cover just so it looks a little bit nicer. I think some of this is going to be wood uh, supports and things. All right, so stone brick chimney makes the most sense. They always do. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, floor, I don't want it all to be um, tough, of course. Uh, what would we make the floor out of? Maybe wood would be good. I think a wood, wood floor. Spruce would make the most sense. Although, did we do that over here? I think we did. We did. All right. So let's try something different. On the outside of the walls, it has extra layer to the outside. So needs accounting for but for larger builds extra layer of wear do a light gray paint on the roof portion outside where the fence gate is oh i see yeah yeah yeah, yeah unless your build is really big i that's not my favorite thing i know what you mean though i balance my builds between using minecraft like a paint program or a or an art program and then using it like you're building a video game. And I lean a lot more towards treating Minecraft like it's, it's a, it's a um, 3D modeling software that you use to build your next Zelda game or insert your favorite cartoony RPG here. That's kind of how I approach it.
I'm trying to think about what this might look like both inside and outside. I like the um the foundations. I think that's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to make that gray. Um, that just feels like a lot all in one space. Maybe I'll move this over. Whoops. And there is no light over here. Cherry planks in the in the kitchen. A lot of pink. All right, I'm going to be shuffling some stuff around here. Almost feels a little bit too deliberate. Too much like a pattern. It's a little bit better. I'm not so sure if we're going to change those. To walls because that's what's in the original I think yeah so we might play around with the door a little bit more later on as like some finishing touches but I think that's a decent first pass on the bottom so now it's more about getting in some some flooring I think inside Alright, so we can remove this. I no longer need the measures. I don't hate the tough, I just it needs to go with something else. And I don't think I want to do cobblestone everywhere. I think that'll be a little bit weird. Maybe we can do andesite. Well, first, I need to go get some torches because this is all kinds of dark. You say a lot of pink like it's a bad thing. Well, everything in moderation, right? Didn't use the wool and didn't use the concrete powder. What else could we use instead of, I guess I could put some gray clay or light gray concrete powder in the floor. 
torches. We need some torches. If I go that road, then I think I have to go less cobble. I don't want to have too many colors. I don't mind that. It's not bad. It's a little on the busy side, but it's not terrible. I think that's all right. Need a little bit of help through here, maybe. Oh, I was going to try to put some gray in the floor with the clay, wasn't I? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. It's the kind of thing where I think I'll leave it for now. There's not enough contrast happening between the floor and the wall. I think that's the biggest problem right now. Hunter triple five, good to see you. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits, a full 17 minutes ago. Sorry, I completely missed that. Hope you're still lurking and listening. Thank you ever so much. Okay. So that's an okay pass on the floor. I think the other thing I want is to establish some, some rafters rough ideas of rafters. We did this in the other, the other house as well. I'm really sick of eating baked potatoes every five minutes. Pass the problem to future Joel. Yep. That can be something that happens. Okay, grab two doors. And what would I do for 
like the floor plate here for the door. I don't think I want to do polished andesite. Oh, I could, I guess. It might be the easiest thing. I do find it looks a little fancy. Uh, we would want this door to open, I think, on this side. And this is going to be on this side. Now that might shift if we have to move that inside. Um, and that's a possibility. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Well, thanks, Mindro Media. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Composters. I'm wondering if I can get away with making this a little bit higher. Could be better. I really like that we can add these little symbol labels. I'm going to look into doing some more custom stuff like that when we upgrade to 1.21. I really like the change. It makes these big shulker situations a lot easier to deal with. So rafters, let's use the dark oak. It's going to make some of the supports a little bit tricky, but I don't want to completely copy what I had over there. So we'll go take a look just to make sure that I'm not going to copy the exact same thing. So it was mostly mangrove logs. And this works so well with the trapdoor stair thing, so I'm gonna try not to copy that. I don't want to use dark oak trapdoors because they look they just don't look like this they look fancy, they don't look like supports. So maybe we'll have a little bit more contrast happening inside here. Uh, but we know that the center line is here, and we will probably want to have something in this section. Is that where the roof shifts? It is. I don't think this is going to look very good. I think what I would rather do is have spruce. Because then it allows us to throw in some trapdoors like this. I think that ends up working better. And then here, we also have the ability to maybe change how that's connected somehow. That's a solid block. That's a stair. So we could either do this, or maybe even use the dark oak stairs there.
Hmm. You know, I feel like that might be the easiest thing. That, or we could add in a couple of barrels. That would be a good spot to hang a light, although we've got a fire that I could use and just use that for the light for the whole place. The dark oak trapdoors look like chocolate and will make me want chocolate. Yeah, no, that's I'll double down on that. I agree. We could also hide a little of this. So that is stairs. What is that on the outside? Right, that's a corner. But because of the colors I want to move in, we could get away with something like that. And honestly, we could probably have this go across. That actually looks pretty good. Now that I look at it, we could even change those. Oh, nope. After was better. If we wanted to, we can change that into a barrel. And that might actually work. Could hang a lantern or something from that, even though we don't need one. I might actually put that out and put the lantern there. I don't know. But I like that. That's fairly simple. That gives us some, some working room and some leeway outside. Because I think some of this, for me, is going to be uh, spruce. Yeah. We could even go with a trapdoor there. So I'm going to go get those barrels. I think those barrels are going to start to come in really handy. I guess I don't need to be carrying around pumpkins right now. Spruce trap doors, they rule the world, as it were. So it's that and a trap door, which does have a little bit of structure there, or we could use a composter. Which I think I like better. Adds a little bit more color, a little bit more warmth. And then when we echo that composter higher in the build, which is again something I'm taking from inspiration here. I think it was used as a way to break up that top row of stairs. Just realized that there's a big old empty spot in here too. What could go there? This just gets turned sideways, right? Yeah.
I really wish you could turn composters sideways the same way that you can place a barrel sideways. I think that's a great way, I think, for Mojang to be able to add texture to this game without adding more blocks is like if you could place this sideways just like you can place a barrel sideways like that it would open up a bunch of different textures right you'd have the side and the bottom of the composter would be something that you could see from any side and i think that would be awesome upside down it would give you a new floor texture and again would not add a new block to the game i wonder if there's a data pack that lets you do that I don't know if I want this to be like a pattern across the top or if I want it to be a little bit more random. I like the idea of tucking it back here. So in some places where this shouldn't be out like that because we've changed the angle of the roof. Then we can put a composter in this position. And then I can change this perhaps for jungle planks. I don't think stripped jungle is going to look good. I'm going to be careful with over texturing the roof too. It's a little bit on the light side. Yeah. There we might be able to get away with some dark oak, but then cover it in either spruce signs or jungle signs. So many textures to layer on top of things. Break time when you're ready. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Actually, that's a really good point. Genoi, uh, or Genoi, sorry, Genoi. Um, if you wanted to even just have the composter be a composter, but have it be on its side, then I think that would be a great option. You know, something overturned, then you could add some texture to the ground to make it look like something had spilled out of it. You know, I think that could be really cool. I still think that one way to give, um, more textures to barrels too would be to put something in a barrel and then have the have the top be a a different texture. Anyway, uh, I need to take that break. I do this once an hour, folks, and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Rain in Minecraft. Surprise. This is my shocked face. So right away I can tell you that the dark oak is going to be too dark for what I want there. What is probably going to go better is going to be spruce planks, which I don't think I brought. some jungle signs too. So that's not bad, but then we'll move, I think, that piece there. So I don't want to get too caught up in the texture because I want to do, I think, more work uh, on the grounds and start kind of bopping back and forth to make sure we're not getting too carried away. So I also want to make sure I don't lose the original idea, which was to have mostly, mostly granite. Although in the image, it's actually mostly jungle wood now that I look at it. Granite is definitely the secondary color, so that's good to know. I don't think I want a smokestack coming out of the chimney. We'll um, check here, but I'm pretty sure that smoke would end up lining up. Well, it wouldn't line up with the other smoke, but it might be better. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I guess it would give some motion in that direction. So you can probably see what I'm going for here. And in this section, we might even be able to go with a little bit of that. Not the best. Still not bad. I, I don't know about these, though. I wonder if they would be better off across here. Yeah. 
if we do that, we're probably going to end up doing it with jungle wood just to kind of keep the, the jungle wood as the more prominent, prominent block. And here, I think it makes sense to go full spruce. My concern is that the roof is going to look too busy compared to the bottom, uh, where the bottom already has a lot going on. So I may need to simplify the roof a little bit. Try a trapdoor here, maybe. You know, that's not bad. I was expecting that to not work out, but I, you know, I think I might like that. Yeah, that adds some shape to it, doesn't it? And then I'm not sure what we could do there. I guess if we make this some sort of full block, then I could do spruce there. Hmm. I don't think I want to mirror it with a composter. I guess I could. This is where I think a barrel would probably be better. I'm hoping anyway. I'm not sure if that looks too patchworky or not. Weird how the jungle signs are such a different texture than the jungle planks. Like, I don't really feel like these are. Yeah, the the lines are are not nearly as dark.
Not sure what's going to happen there. We'll have to figure something out. I'll have to worry about that as well. Blast Jordan, thanks for being here. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, that does kind of line up maybe too much. Although I really wish that the barrels worked like logs and not like furnaces. I don't think I want to do two in a row. What if this was asymmetrical and came down like that? I wonder if that could look good. I'm trying to use the spruce for like under things to try and help that a little bit. I've just completely mirrored that, haven't I? Whoops. Um, guess maybe we'll go back to jungle here. Now, is that block visible inside? One, two, three. One, two, three. It is. Okay. I think that looks good, which means I can remove it. And actually make that a stair. Yeah, that's tidier. I like that better. So I much prefer the contrast between the dark oak on the bottom and the roof. And I think it illustrates my point earlier of my concern that if the bottom's too busy, then the roof looks too busy is is too much at the same time. So this being simpler, I think is working to our advantage. Although I think I should run them all the same way.
again, a little bit on the busy side. K Chasm. Tier 1, 26 months. Thanks very much for the support. Appreciate it. Let's put in the other part of the roof. Maybe we'll try this one. Now this could be a stair. And that should probably be planks. creates a nice little step down. So again, I'm trying to make sure that the jungle wood is the dominant texture. I do want to work in more of these uh, composters. So maybe here. I feel like they were used up top a lot too. It's not bad. I think there still needs to be less, uh, less granite, but that's because I haven't really done much along the top. But I think because of the amount of work that I've put into the house now, we know it's not going anywhere. We know I'm not going to move it. So I think at this point, I'd like to work on the paths and the pumpkins and see if we can't get a permanent kind of flow going there. So let's clear out the inventory a bit. Keep those just in case. Grab some coarse dirt and coarse dirt slabs. And what else might we need? Pumpkins, pumpkin seeds, and I should go get some bone meal. Aldabar, hello, hello, welcome in. Did not see you enter. How are things over in Halcyon Heights? Do 
Do I need anything else from here right now? Bushes, probably. And more than likely texture sooner than later. Slowly but surely, the shulker box storage is being moved <laughs> out into the middle of a field. Not my first rodeo. Well, we can probably start with the stuff closest to the house, right? I feel like that's decent. I wouldn't want to go any wider. Shulker Continental Drift. Yeah. So here, obviously, the door used to be over here. So we need to remove this stuff here. Bring this back down a little bit. I want to say we're probably going to actually go probably about here. And maybe we'll do something slightly off center. Now here we don't have to go nearly as wide. I feel like we can probably come in here. At least for now, we can always change it a little bit later. That'll turn to grass. And then back here. I guess I could leave it swing wide like that. There's something that gets lost when you take it from path uh, down to coarse dirt because, of course, you lose the, the cool edges a lot of the time. Yeah, that, going this wide doesn't make a lot of sense. It's crazy how much a single block changes the angle of one of these paths. Probably put some bushes and stuff there.
Good to hear, Aldebar. I'm glad things are going well. That was really close. Where did he even come from? Oh boy. That would have been... I don't know about the end of the stream, but it would have been the end of my fun today. Blowing the front off my pumpkin house. Pumpkin farmhouse, pumpkin house. I don't know what we're calling it. So the question is, did I make this too far? one way or the other. See if there's another one. He is just beelining it. We'll also know, <laughs> let you know that yikes is what came out of my keyboard, but not what came out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, Cosmic, you can probably let me know, because I think you would know this. But I think the only time or times that I have actually cursed on stream, I think has been creeper related. It is indeed a lot of pumpkins. It is indeed a lot of pumpkins. Yeah, I feel like this is an all right path. It feels... I think these are the walls are just throwing me off. I think it just needs to be a little bit more subtle than that. I think we're doing all right. Sure, that's all right. I might carve that down a little bit. 
Okay, let's uh, let's plant out some of these pumpkins. We're probably gonna have to like regrow them to get vines on them, but I think it's worth doing it. So how do I want to do this? I think I want the pumpkins to grow towards the path. The path is gonna be two blocks wide. So then most of the pumpkins are going to need to be growing from close to the road. So let's make this the path. So I've got maybe one. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Well, I guess I don't have to have them all have vines, right? So, like... Oh, that's too close to the entry. All right. Mistakes were made. That's probably better. I want it to look sort of like a patch, but I, I don't want it to look. Too overdone. And so what I'd probably want to do for this kind of stuff is we'd be picking where stuff would grow from. So like for this one, what I would probably do is use the hoe, the seeds. And then that's not going to work. I guess it won't grow. Do they only grow one direction? Like, do they only grow east-west? Does anybody know? Oh, yeah, there's a blue jay in my backyard, Cosmic. You're right. 100%. I probably want to put this here first. No, they're just... Do they need space around them? I don't want it to grow in these spaces. I want it to grow and attach there. Well, if they can grow any place adjacent to the plant, then... Can you not bone meal pumpkins on the final stage? I wonder what kind of dirt would look good underneath them. It will grow in time. You can't bone meal the final stage. Okay, cool. Goes to show you, like, the last time I did a pumpkin farm, it was like a redstone farm, right? Wiki agrees with Hunter. Cool. Thank you, Crosshatch. Appreciate it. Uh, I want... Maybe Muddy or Mangrove. Do I have other Mangrove? Oh, good. I brought Mangrove. Or... Rooted dirt, maybe? Cool. Thank you, Grandpa Crafter. 
So I'm curious, just out of um, from a color perspective, like if we have different dirt underneath the pumpkins, if one looks better than the other. That I'm gonna need daylight though. I feel like the sun is setting almost every time I want to do something today. I mean, that's a sign of you're having a good time, I guess. Is that every time you turn around, it, 10 minutes has gone by? Oh, my mouse is being funny. Weird. I mean, I guess you're not going to see it, right? Because I'm going to be converting all this to path block. So I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't able be able to see it from from the. I guess the farmland side. So I guess it could matter. Let's just do a test. Coarse dirt, concrete powder, Mangrove, actually, maybe the other way. And rooted dirt. Rooted muddy mangrove roots. I don't know why I keep on exchanging those. You know what? I think the muddy. Mangrove roots might look the best. Yeah, it's between it's between those two. I ca I quite like the blue in there as a complementary color. So, let's go with that. That's good cuz those are easy. So, one thing I really like about this game is just the ability to test stuff like that so quickly. I also just like the idea that we've taken the time to put those details in. So we'll wait to see what happens with those pumpkins. I would say... I'll have to come back and see what's going to happen there. But I like I like the way that that looks, I think, when you come up here. So we'll do another path here. And I had these kind of on an angle a little bit. So we'll try to angle these a little bit more that way. Which means that this is going to have to have like an offshoot, and that's fine. I, I think that that's a, a maybe something interesting that we could have go on to. I could also bring some bushes in here and add a little bit of of heft to the pumpkin vines. So instead of just the vines, we could also have some uh, some bushes in here to add to it. That could look really good. 
I can't remember the other day if I did the path first or if I did the pumpkins first. See, here's a good example. Like, here would be a good spot to put some bushes, right? So it was basically on the corners. Pumpkins are going to be required. This is going to be a lot, but that's good. It's going to look cool. That even looks like pumpkin vines. Did I not bring more pumpkins? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't bring them all in here with me. Sure, they're probably in the other room. I could, the, the, it could be these. Like, I could have just brought a couple stacks and been, that's it. Um, no, I think they're in the keep. I think I put them in one of the chests in the keep. I don't think this is all the, like, I thought I brought like five or six stacks the other day. I need my mangrove and I need the pumpkins. Yeah, I thought I brought a lot back too. I agree. Question is, where did I put them? Well, there's the mangrove stuff. In the orange box, in the orange box. Oh, those are jack o' lanterns. It's the kind of thing, like, had I been thinking, I mean, I guess it's nice to have that field trip to go back to the meadows and get them, but like, I could have set up a little piston farm just in the basement of the keep and I could have been churning out pumpkins. Although, I gotta say, that looks pretty cool. When this is all pumpkins, that's going to be going to be neat looking. I like how much color the farms are adding. Even that's not bad. Like, I mean, I don't want to overdo it, but even that kind of level of 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 saturation in that in that farmland is pretty cool. I guess the question is, what pumpkin or what um, bush is going to look good. Probably the mangrove. That's the most viney. I might have to resort to the one that looks best with moss. Oh, maybe... 
Yeah, I think the mangrove. Oh, maybe not in a complete straight line. You can even drop it in. That looks pretty cool. Me, organize. I don't know what you mean. Bluffing. Work outside of West Hill has been awesome. Thanks, Cosmic. <laughs> really feels like a well-developed and well-thought-out project. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. I bet ferns would look good in here too. Oh, I didn't bring any, I don't think. There might be some in a shulker box. Uh, no, I have bone meal though, so I'll just find a fern and my shears. Somewhere. Oh, look, there's lots over here. This may not match the mangrove leaves, so we'll have to see. But this could be a good way to give a little bit more life to what's happening in here. It's not too bad. The center of it kind of matches. It's been a very, very long time since I've been to an honest to God real pumpkin patch. So I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. All right, I've already done those. I think I did those. Not a big fan of how the unfortunately the the bushes are the same height as everything so maybe the idea in some places is going to be to drop the bushes down like that that works quite well here i'd probably want one of these to have uh, like an actual stem right these just aren't growing at all which is so weird i don't think these have either oh some of them have i guess So I think the idea here was to try and do spaces for things to grow. So here we might have 
this be the space? Don't know if that's the right angle. Maybe I've not given myself enough room. Yeah, I think in some cases we're going to have to do like a little bit of a custom, custom job. Oh, that's too bad. That would have been cool looking if it had done something right. We could probably could put moss there. That could like moss carpet. That could probably work. For now. I do like that this is more of a challenge and that you can't just do things in rows. You really have to work things out so that they're a little bit more random. Which, I mean, is how a pumpkin, I think, would grow. I'm sure there's probably some techniques that pumpkin farmers use to actually make them go where they want to go, but I don't know what those are. I want to go one or two. That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty natural. We're not we're not creating any weird patterns by accident. Obviously, that wall is not going to be here. Stream time is at two hours, says Cosmic. I was feeling it. I knew it was coming. So the holes that I'm seeing are things that we're going to put, uh, I think, things to grow. Like, we'll put the vines in those spaces. I think that'll help a lot. This feels a lot more open than this. And so I want to try and keep that. This feels very tight. So I feel like some of these might end up being moved around a little bit. Need an armor stand Linus in there. That's a, that's a callback. Wow. The great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Well, I'll leave the wall in here for now just because I think that's going to control where some of these pumpkins might go. I don't know if that's what I want, but I want to learn how those are going to fall. So we'll leave that there. Uh, I think we... I, 
think we like the ferns. I think we just don't want to use them too much. So we'll try to keep those on a low frequency, perhaps. We can imagine this with pumpkins on both sides, right? I might want to make it a little bit wider than that. Yeah. So this will kind of guide us through. I think some of these are going to be gone too. I don't think this is going to be here. And then of course we can put in different textures along here because we have those blocks and we can mess with all the good stuff. Yeah. I might, I don't think orange carpet's going to be the right shade, but it might be fun to try and make the pumpkins a little bit different. We could, we could try to make a big one. I don't know if that would look good, but we could try like a custom. No, unfortunately it's got that seam in it. That's just a little bit too out there for me. And I did grab some of these, but I don't think they're the right color. No. We shall have to see. However, I think that's looking pretty good. The wall will be a little bit taller, so it's not going to be just pumpkins in your face. There'll be slabs and stairs and things. How does it look coming down from here? Yeah, you know, I might even keep the wall. I might even put a wall in there on purpose as if it's like an older part and they expanded the farm somehow. That could be cool. Because it does break up the orange a little bit and it's a nice tone to break up the orange, especially if we start doing a lot of mossy stuff. And the house isn't too bad from far away. Uh, you definitely get more of a smooth white than when you do up close. So... I think we're good. As long as we don't go too, board, uh, too overboard in the texture there, I think we'll be all right. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. It's coming together faster than the lilac farm for sure. I think it's just because I've, I've felt practiced doing a farm. And so doing something here, you know, the greens in there really stand out now. With shaders on, the ferns and the mangrove actually match a lot better. Yeah, I like it. Very, very good. I just have to be careful. I think I want to make sure I do pumpkins here and pumpkins here, but I don't want to necessarily do... I think the pumpkins will probably stop about there and we'll do something else in the back. That's my guess. So anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. We're just going to double check to see who's doing what. Um, looks like Tadpole is playing Stardew Valley even though he's got Minecraft as, I think, the category. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anybody else playing Minecraft unless somebody has a suggestion that I don't know. So if you have a favorite streamer that you'd like me to uh, pass you all along to that's playing Minecraft, then let me know. Uh, I'm going to be back in the Minecraft chair on Thursday. I will also be uh, doing the Spawn Chunks podcast, of course, with Pixel Riffs tomorrow. That's uh, Monday. That gets published every Monday. 
And I've got a lot of work to do behind the scenes and some other podcasting stuff. So I will see who is around um, and uh, inform everyone on my Discord when the next Citadel Cafe is coming out. You can check out things like Instagram and Twitter at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. And you can, of course, check out Patreon, which is where you can support my work. Thank you to everyone that joined either through the Twitch subscription or the Pinterest, not Pinterest, the um, Patreon subscription uh, or a gift sub uh, this weekend. Uh, Thanks for all the bits. I really appreciate the support. Y'all are awesome. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Corrupted Tree asks Aldabar. I'm not familiar with their stream. Are they a family-friendly location? If they are, then I've got no problem dropping people off. But uh, coming up on episode 300 on that on that podcast, the Spawn Chunks, that thing that I do, thing that I do every Monday. Uh, yes, you think so? Okay, Aldabar, cool. I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm kidding. I just, I'm sure it's a, a good place. Uh, We will send you all to Corrupted Tree. I do have to raid and run. I've got some adulting I have to do for the rest of my day. But I will see you all soon. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Bye for now.